Hi, and welcome back to the Tackle Share YouTube channel. Today's activity, we are going to be doing a four painted fish, and we've also uploaded a new activity sheet to the Tackle Share website at tackleshare.com. Check that out, and now let's get to our craft. To start off this craft, you're going to need some construction paper. I just chose a variety of colors, but I made sure I at least had one that was blue to do some water later on. You're going to need some scissors, a pencil, glue stick, marker, some googly eyes, a fork, and of course a tray with a little bit of paint. Let's get started. All right, so I went ahead and already made some outlines of fish for my son just to help him give him some perspective so he's not completely painting a completely blank sheet. Um, he really likes to fish for panfish and lately he's been really interested in northern pike. So I just did a quick sketch of those fish to help give him um, an idea of where he's going to be painting. All right, next we're just going to pull over our tray of paint. We got our colors here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fork. I like um, a plastic fork. They tend to have bigger ridges on them back here to help hold on to more paint. Um, you can use a kitchen fork, absolutely, but I like the, the plastic ones because they got a nice big ridge on them. So you're just gonna go ahead and go crazy and paint up your fish. And this is me eating crow because now I'm using my kitchen fork that has a flat surface. This paint was far too sticky and not runny enough um, to work properly with a high ridge torque. So I'm just gonna do exactly what I said, the opposite. All right, so while our fish are drying, we're gonna go ahead and put them aside and then work on a backdrop. All right, so I've got two blue sheets of paper here. It can really be any color, as long as you've got imagination. I chose blue because that's the color of water in general. I'm gonna fold this thing in half, like this. And then I'm going to draw some waves. You could draw them all exactly the same, but I like to change things up a bit. And then you're gonna cut along those lines, like so. There we go. So now what we're going to do is open it up and there's our wavy water. All right, and now you're just going to grab your glue stick and we're going to do glue every other one of these. And then I'm also going to glue the corners, maybe a little bit along here, oops, and along this side here. All right, now I'm gonna flip it over and connect it up to my other sheet, like that. Which one was, this one comes up. And you're gonna make sure it pops up, like that. And has glue in it, this one's got the glue. So making sure the sheet is a little bit further to the sides, like this, you wanna make sure it's offset. Same here, so it gives it that room for it to pop out. Just like that. Remember this one sticks in, so this one pops out. This one sticks in. All right, so I'm gonna put that to the side now. And my fish are dry. Just like that. Very nice. Now I should have mentioned, the, the paint I used was just a Crayola paint, but it was thicker than the average paint, and I thought it added a really neat texture. I don't know if you can see that in there, but it added a very cool texture to both of these fish, and I thought it was really neat that I didn't notice until it started to dry. But while, uh, while my son's gonna cut this out, I wanna give him a little bit more of this outline to be able to see. It helps us just imagine the fish a little bit more to help that outline pop just a little bit more. And there we go, we have our two beautiful fish. Of course, we can't forget Mr. Googly Eyes. 
and you can place your fish in your water seam where you where you'd like it. And my other fish right about there. And with some extra scrap paper, I'm just going to throw in a little bit of seaweed right there. All right, thank you so much for hanging in there and doing this fishing craft with me. Don't forget to go to our website at tackleshare.com slash resources to check out those other activity sheets. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. See you next time.